Hi, it's Daniel Daly again. Um, just want to explain a bit about our basis. I'm um, a Daly. A Daly. That's my surname, the Daly family, and that's an Irish Irish surname from Ireland, you know, in Europe, the top 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 corner of Europe. Uh, it's a Celtic surname, but um, we're a Celtic people. My mother was from an English line. She's a baker. It's an English family. And Dad, Cyril Daly, was Irish, so, um, well, Australian, actually, but um, his father was Irish, come over to Australia from Ireland. So we're a Celtic sort of Anglo people, Celtic Anglo family. And because of that, um, well, we, we come from a traditional Catholic base. Dad, the whole family was Catholic, and I was Catholic for many years, but um, in 1999, I became a Noahide. So... Um, we we come from uh, uh, I come from a Western sort of uh, Westernized mindset, which was entrenched in Christianity for many centuries and still to a large degree is. But um, we we never followed any circumcision patterns, and we do not have any connections to Judaism in our lineage or our family. We're not a Jewish people. We're not an Abrahamic people. We're not a Jewish people. We're not of the circumcision covenant in any way, shape, or form. So. Um, I come from a Noahidic lineage, going back to Noah. My bloodline is not connected to Abrahamic covenant, the Beret of Abraham. It's, it goes back in terms of legality, which is all that matters in the end, because Christianity is really just a pretend covenant in the end. It's made up by the church. It's not actually legit with God. Um, so in terms of the real covenant I have with God, it's a Noahidic covenant. So I'm Noahide. Now, um, God did speak to me and asked me to build on his son Israel. But that was quite a number of years ago. And since then, the Spirit has talked to me a number of times about how the world has progressed. And that that was not necessarily the case anymore, that, that, that original intention. Because of the way the world's progressed and um, a sort of casualness at the moment in the Israelite people towards Torah. That they haven't progressed in the way that they should have learned from the lessons of why they went into exile. They've, they've embraced uh, the modern culture and, and it's, it's, it's uh, often hedonistic ways. They haven't really repented it to a great deal. Um, they've, they've embraced it and accepted it and just going with the flow. So um, that's not allowed in a Torahic way of life. But regardless of that, the way I, I envisage the Kara Adamai Nohide faith of seven divine fellowships, our own faith, you know, my, my faith, um, is not really following the Jewish traditions at all in the end anyway. We go to Genesis 1 to 11, 9, which is the end of the Tower of Babel incident, where all the, um, there's still all the family of Noah there, from, from the Shem, Ham, and Japheth, mankind was repopulated. And at the Tower of Babel incident, it says all mankind is gathered. So it's the Noahide family of mankind before the Abrahamic seed comes in later. So it's an Abrahamic family, uh, sorry, a Noahidic family there, and um, it pertains to all mankind. From Genesis 1 to that point is all, all, all universal mankind scripture because Abraham comes in just afterwards in the scriptures. So, I take that scripture as the holy foundation for my faith. And I have my own writings, developed spiritual religious ideas, which I put into the Rainbow Bible writings. I borrowed some things from um, Wikipedia for the time being, but... I'm not sure if that'll really last in the end. I'll probably just go back to my own spiritual writings and just ignore the Wikipedia stuff. That's probably, I think, what God minds. But um, the spiritual teachings and ethics and religious writings of my own, I've got my autobiography and all sorts of articles on religion. That's the, the core of what I call my own Noahidic faith. The Seven Divine Fellowships, Karite, Adamite, Noahide faith from the early community of mankind my update, as it were. It's been updated in my particular lineage, my particular bloodline. Now, as a Noahide, I can't really say that I represent all mankind because, you know, who, who really can say that? I don't have the blood of every race in me. But I am a Noahide, and I speak of as a member of the Celtic family, as a member of the Daly family, for the covenant of Noah and our representation, my representation, and what that expresses in the theological writings of seven divine fellowships. I'm looking for people who have an interest in my writings 
and in the covenant of Noah, and who don't really want to connect in any way to the Abrahamic covenants or Israel. They don't really care about the Israelite thing. You know, it's not an issue. You know, we, we're not really that much bothered anymore about the rest of the Tanakh beyond Genesis 1 to 11, 9. We are Karite, but mainly for Genesis 1 to 11, 9 in terms of Karism now. So I'm looking for those who have an interest in being their own people, standing with God in their own name, their own ultimate covenant, the, the rainbow covenant, not having to be justified by a Jewish connection, which I don't want to connect to them. The, the chosenness idea has gone to the head, and I think a lot of people appreciate that, but it's, it's distorted what, what it was meant to be in the first place, God's initial plans. It's become something which it shouldn't have been. I want something fresh, something new, a, a proper beginning, and I don't want to go through any circumcision rituals, which is just stupid to me, anyway. Karen out of my night, five for seven divine fellowships is a fresh start. It's uh, a new initiative in a sense, even though it's built on an ancient covenant. It's new theology, it's, it's uh, hopefully grounded in sane theology, and I'm looking for people who want the religious truth, which is what it's trying to teach. And uh, a religious organization is as a organization to spend eternity and their eternal life with you. That's what we represent. And um, to understand it, research the writings of the Rainbow Torah and the Chronicles of Children of Destiny and Angel Saga to understand what I'm on about.